Okay, y'all, this is a video. Got a lot of questions on the beetle blocker shim. This is it right here. You can see it. I still don't have a cameraman. I'll show you how to install it. Here's a, a bottom board, a standard 8 frame screen bottom board. It's got the little pan in it. This is deadly on beetles if you use this configuration. I like to put mineral oil in my pans instead of vegetable oil because vegetable oil will go rancid on you and spoil but mineral oil won't it'll last all season of course you know you got to keep rain out of it you got to keep your hive tilted or keep them protected from the rain otherwise the pan just fills up with water but that doesn't uh, the beetles kind of drown in that anyways the beetles when you install this let me set it up here here it is you see here's the other side it's got those dimpled holes those go downward it's sealed around the edges inside so there's no gaps that a beetle can pass through anyways let me put it on there and I'll show you what it looks like now that's how it will sit on the bottom board now if you use anything else like a slatted rack or anything like that if for northern climates some people like to use slatted racks you put that on top of this. This device goes on top of the bottom board. Now go over here and just get a standard 8 frame super. Oh, I want to show you something. Notice this little bit of glue right here. You might need to knock that down with a knife. I try to, before I send them out, I try to sand all these corners down and sand the glue down, but sometimes I might miss that because if that cocks up any, and leaves a little gap a beetle can crawl right up right up through here and crawl between the super and the box and still get in so we need a good seal around the bottom here see what I'm talking about you can see that gap from that uh, little bit of glue you don't want that gap anyways that's what it looks like it's finished there you add your frames and your bees and there that's how it looks from the inside um anyways i hope you enjoy this hope this answers questions if you'd like to order some of these beetle blocker shims i make them for eight and ten frame hives i can custom make them for any other size hive you just need to give me your dimensions i sell them for twenty dollars plus a reasonable shipping fee i strive my best to keep the shipping as cheaply as possible for you if for some instance I overcharge you on the shipping, just just let me know. Or I'll notice it anyways, and I will refund that through PayPal. If you will send me your PayPal email account, your email that's attached to your PayPal, to my um, email, which is stoneshack at aol.com. That, that is s t o n e s h a c k at aol.com I just PM me send me an email with your with your PayPal email be sure and let me know what size you want I get a lot of orders people say well I want 10 beetle blockers and they'll give me all their information and I gotta contact them because I don't know if they want 8 or 10 frame and in the future I'm gonna stop contacting people I'm just gonna default to 10 frames so if you want 8 frames and you go wind up getting 10 frames, it's your problem. But I mean, it's just, it's a lot trying to keep up with this. But anyways, I appreciate all the business. It's really been rocking. And hopefully as soon as I get my presses done, where I can punch these things out, I can produce a whole lot more, a lot faster, and possibly get the price down a little bit, make it even a little more affordable. I appreciate it very much, guys. Hope you enjoy. And let's kill all them dang beetles. Bye.